at an antique store for a hundred, sold it on eBay for nine hundred dollars. What? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm going to share with you bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is almost at 100,000 members. It's crazy. Anyway, I posted this in the Facebook group. It says, share your best August bolo and invited everybody to share a screenshot with the information of their bolo item. So I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And wait until you see these bolos. Okay, so before we get started, I do have a couple announcements. I do have merch, new merch. Look at these adorable earrings. Let me get closer. Oh my goodness, these cute little owls that say Bolo Buddies. So I also have Thanksgiving and Halloween. The Bolo Buddies Owl. Their earrings, they're $5 each, you guys. What a steal. They're amazing. They were made by Lucky Day Shop. You can check her out on Whatnot. She has all these amazing Halloween ones right now, and she'll be putting up new ones as well. But these are available in my Whatnot. So if you go over to my Whatnot, they're in the Buy It Now. They're $5 each. Buyer pays shipping. If you're at one of my sales, my Whatnot sales, you will get discounted shipping. But anyway... If you've never been on Whatnot, you can use my link down below to join and get $15 to shop. And then you can go get free earrings. Ah, super exciting. All right, so Bolo Buddies merch, excited to have something very affordable for you guys if you want to support the channel and purchase a pair of cute earrings. I will say they lay fantastic. See how like they face forward like they're supposed to. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love them. Some big money bolos with you now. So let's get started. So the first item that's sold, first one, you ready? Paid $4.50 at an estate sale and sold for $270. I like those margins. It is the Ringing Cedars series full set of Vladimir. <laughs> oh, it looks like that. You guys can read it. I, I think it's the last name. Anyway, a book series. So book series can definitely be a Bolo. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member It's All Goods 94. And this is her eBay store. She is also on Whatnot. So follow her over there as well. And she found at a garage sale, paid $5 for a big, huge bin of toys, sold this one lot of bin 10 figures for a best offer of $40. Now, I've had pretty good luck parting out bin 10 figures, anywhere from 10 to $15 a piece. When you list them as singles, sometimes they can be more long tail, but she put them in a bundle. So there you have it. Um, anybody that is a Bolo Buddies member, I will link them down in the description of the video so you guys can follow their eBay stores, follow them on YouTube or whatnot, wherever they are. Uh, they are fantastic resellers and you will definitely learn a lot from them. They have joined Bolo Buddies memberships to get perks. And if you guys are interested in that, there's more information down below in my link tree link. All right. This one says, I got this razor at an estate sale, paid $1. It sold in about a month for full asking price of $64.99 plus shipping. It is obviously never been used and worked perfectly. Always be on the lookout for old shavers. Some models go for great money. This is a Norelco Rototract triple header rechargeable electric razor, new in the box. And that one comes from Jersey Shore Thrifter. So far in August, my best bolo has been this receipt printer. I got it at a Goodwill Bins in Asheville, North Carolina for $2.50, 49 cents per pound. Listed it intending to be a quick flip and accepted an offer for 100 the next morning. The offer came in while I was asleep, so under 24 hours. Thermal printers seem to almost always be a bolo, with the exception of some label makers. So this is a... 
receipt printer. Hmm, never heard of a receipt printer, but this is what it looks like. All righty, we got a big old plushie. Paid $5 at a local thrift store. Took a little bit of a chance on it. Listed it in January at 85. Received my first offer today of 55 and took it. Happy with the sale. So five into 55 for this Aurora horse, large plush, 28 inch, big stuffed animal. The next one says, keep an owl, keep an owl, keep an owl. Here's an owl. Keep an eye out for Bethany Lowe Studios pieces. Yes, Bolo for sure. They are terrific Bolo. I picked this pumpkin man candy bucket up at a yard sale for $1. And it sold an seven day auction for 250 plus shipping. This is what it looks like. Bethany Lowe is definitely a Bolo. And it is a vintage candy container. If you missed my vintage Halloween Bolos, go check this out. These Bolo Halloween items sold for over $1,000. I think you're going to be like, what? Yeah. And Halloween is coming. So now is the time to get those listed. Pick this up at a thrift store for 40 bucks. I knew it had to be worth more than that to the right person. 1920s or so made in Scotland for Scottish Beer Company. Pub Mirror. Nice patina, but overall good condition. Perfect, perfect antique look. I had a few bites online at 450, but when then I went and talked to the new owner of the Scottish pub in town. I told him it was 450, but he could have it for 400. He didn't bat an eye and said, "Bring it in on Wednesday and I will have the cash." This is what it looks like. I bought this at my local Goodwill for $2 and it sold within 1 day for 60. It's a 1995 Mirabilla Mirabilia Mirabilla Mirabilia. Maybe I said that right. This is what it looks like. It's a cross stitch. Santa's magic pattern. Just the pattern, guys. Just the pattern. I did a quick Google lens search in the store, but didn't know exactly what I had until I got home. Thank you for sharing your experience and knowledge with us. I would have overlooked it had it been, not been for you. It sold for $60 and... This is what it looks like, and it's just the pattern. A surprise find in a thrift store bag of Barbie furniture for $4. When I looked up the comps, I was shocked. It took several months, but it sold for a best offer of $200. It's a Cabbage Patch Kids hard-to-find turquoise dino overalls dinosaur shoes with party hat, and this is what it looks like. We got this in a free bag of toys from Facebook Marketplace in April of 2023. Sold for full asking price of $3.90 plus shipping. It was an experiment. Courtney says all the time she lists items just to see if they will sell. And yes, it sold. FYI, my husband thought I was crazy to list it. So I saw this in the chat on Facebook and I was like, you have got to share this. I know it's not a big money bolo, but... Here's what I'm going to tell you. This is a Lego Duplo uh, shovel. It's a replacement part. It sold for $3.90 $3 plus shipping. Is that a lot of money? No. But let's say you list this shovel and you just keep looking for these shovels when you go out and you find 10 more. All you have to do is change the quantity. All right. So that's what a lot of people that sell parts, replacement parts do, especially Legos. They will focus in on one category and they will buy Legos and then they will just create one listing and add multi-quantity and they will sell it over and over and over again. So all they're doing is changing the quantity. They probably have a bag of that particular piece and then they just add it to the bag, change the quantity. Work is already done. So is this your business model? Is this something you would consider? Maybe, maybe not but it is a business model that works. In her situation, she was just kind of like, I want to see if I can do it. And she did it. So good for her. Hi, Courtney. Gina here. My neighbor across the street is elder, 99 years old. The adult sons were cleaning out her home. She never threw anything out. And I mean, nothing. Wish I would have known before the treasures all being thrown in a big trash bin. Ah! 
pulled this out and listed it and got a best offer of $32. I was getting so much activity. He offered 25 and gave me a sad story. I countered at 32 and gave him my sad story and he purchased it. So I paid nothing. I got so many items and so did a couple other friends. Who doesn't love free? It is a vintage Wheelo magnetic spinning wheel top, toy Maggie original box, extra wheels. And it's one of those that goes like this and the little magnet goes, zzz, zzz. you guys remember those as a kid? So fun. So fun. And this one comes from Buy Now and Enjoy Later. And she is also over on um, Whatnot. So check her out. This one comes from The Rebel Reseller. And if you guys don't know where, no. If you don't know who The Rebel Reseller is, you must be under a rock because I talk about her all the time. She is fabulous. This is her YouTube channel. She is a Bola Buddies member and she specializes in plush. So if you want to know more about plush, definitely go over there. But she is also selling other items. And this is an example. And I don't know if I would have picked this up. It looks scary. Scary, scary. I picked this up at a yard sale for $5. There were a couple of solds on Terrapeak at $65. I bumped my price up and sold it the same day I listed it for $99.95. It is a Sagwa Chinese Siamese cat tea set bamboo case miniature. So my question is, did she just shut the lid and bubble wrap it? Or did she have to bubble wrap all those little pieces? I want to know. What about you guys? Check it out. Bought this early pre-prohibition beer tray at an antique store for $100. Sold it on eBay for $900. What? So I know a lot of the trays can be reproductions and sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a reproduction or if it's an original, but this one was obviously an original. $900. Rare pre-prohibition Union Brewing Cascade Beer Uncle Sam Tray. Went to the local thrift store on my lunch hour and sco scoured the shelves and came up empty, thinking I had wasted my time when I spotted this plush. Was that dramatic? I, I'm not much into selling plush as I never find the good stuff. Well, what do you know? But there was a bin full of Build-A-Bears. So I drove in and started, oh, I'm sorry. I dove in and started looking up comps. Found this Choco Cat. Build-A-Bear from 2010 at the very bottom. Looked him up and he sells for $400 or better. Paid $3.75 for him and sold for full asking price plus shipping within 24 hours. Turned $3.75 into $400. Love days like this. Thanks to you, I've learned never to overlook plush. Thanks, Courtney. You're welcome and thank you for sharing. I love it. It's a Build-A-Bear, guys. A Choco Cat Hello Kitty. There you have it. By Sanrio. Found for $1 at an estate sale. Took an offer of $110 within a week on eBay. Plush had no accessories. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Halen. Er, she didn't write it. It's Halen something. Halen. Is it Halen Vintage? I'll pop it up but it's Halen something. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's a lot of uh, members to remember. So um, I'm just doing the best I can here, but this is what it looks like. It's a 1986 My Football Monster Amtoy Big Plush. If you are a Bolo Buddies member, be sure to hashtag Bolo Buddies member and put either your YouTube channel or your eBay store. All right, here we go. Found for a dollar at an estate sale. This one took a little longer to sell. I had gotten so many lowball offers, I finally shut off offers. Posted him for what I wanted at 158 plus shipping. He sold within three weeks on eBay. And this one is also from Halen's something. And this is what it looks like. Now this one is also from her and she has a YouTube channel also. She sold this one on Mercari. She said, I paid $11 for this lot of 10 Sailor Moon six inch dolls knew some were worth more. I didn't know a lot about mine. Didn't want to list them individually. So I took an offer of 90 plus shipping within two weeks of listing on Mercari. This is what it looks like. 
I found this ab lounger at a garage sale at a family run estate sale. I had purchased a lot of items and he was asking 40 for this because I had already spent some money there. I talked him down to 20. It was never used, still sealed. I sold it after about two weeks for full asking price of $154.95 plus shipping. My cha-ching happened at 3.30 in the morning on Tuesday. It kind of makes me wonder why would a buyer be purchasing, purchasing this item at 3.30 in the morning? Could be a case of drunken eBay browsing, perhaps. Jerry, this is Jersey Shore th thrifter, and he always has a story. He said, I'm not judging, though. Happy and appreciative for the sale. Um, maybe they were working late. I don't know. <laughs> I'm up until 3.30 in the morning, and I'm selling on whatnot. I'm not drinking. I'm just making that money. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Come on over to my whatnot if you're not already there, guys. It's super fun. We have a good time even if you don't buy. Just come hang out in the chat. And that link's down below where you can join and get $15 to shop. And you can spend that with anybody on whatnot. But I really think you should grab some cool earrings. Doot, doot, doot. Five dollars. All right. Um, this was uh, one of my childhood dolls. She has seen better days. But my kids thought she was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so decided to let her go, put her up in May and received an offer of $100 on August 2nd. And she took it. It's a vintage 1967 Ideal Toys Giggles doll. Um, and it looks like it also sold on Mercari. If you guys aren't on Mercari, definitely check it out. I do have a link below. If you join with it, you're going to get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And it's really easy to sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So definitely check it out. And it's really easy to buy on Mercari. I love buying on Mercari. All right, let's do one more here. How are we doing on time? Yes. Um... I bought this from a flea market in Vegas for $15. The lens is brand new, took about a month to sell, and sold for full asking price of $140 with free shipping. It's a Panasonic Lumix lens for micro four thirds. I have no idea what, what that even means, but there it is. That's what sold. Nice profit. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, I'm a resell it. And this is his. Uh, YouTube channel and he is a fantastic editor and has some big money bolos so definitely go and check him out again all of the bolo buddies members get perks their perk is they get a pop-up and a link down in the description so go follow them on their platforms um, eBay you can click on the heart and that will follow their store you'll get their coupons you'll get updates you'll get um, sometimes you'll get an email when they list new items and you'll see what they're selling, what seasoned sellers that know how to find bolos are selling. So it's very educational also, and you might find something you want to buy, right? And YouTube channels are linked as well if they have a YouTube channel and super, super knowledgeable group of uh, people that are members of the channel and really super kind of them to share all of this great information with us. So give them a little time and check out their videos and their eBay stores. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I do feature um, every month a post that looks like this and the month changes and anybody is a, able to go and share on that to be featured in a video like this. You do not have to be a Bolo Buddies member. The Bolo Buddies membership is for perks and you have to be at level two. All right. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out another video and I will see you at the next one and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.